Bonjour à tous, hello everyone, hope you all are well. Have you ever been in a situation where you've run through two batteries on your Bebop 2 and you realize that you don't have any more storage space? If your phone is an Android and it is limited to its internal storage and you would like to use your SD card or expendable memory on your phone to store your Bebop videos, I have made this video specifically for you. So before we get into it, I'm going to go into my phone and confirm the internal storage location which is under DCIM and Bebop 2 and that is where your files get transferred to. I've inserted an empty SD card which is 16 gigs as an example and you can see the card is empty, it's formatted and it has no directories extra. So the first thing we will do is go into our settings and go into our memory and storage settings. This may be different, a little bit on different Android versions, but they all have this settings. And you will need to change your default location to SD card. This will restart the phone and re-encrypt your phone if it's encrypted and shift all or some of the core files for applications to the SD card. Now this is, uh, this has to be done because your phone will now refer to the SD card as your default storage location. Once your phone has started up again and you launch Free Flight Pro for the first time after the change, the application will need to synchronize to its new location and put its core files in those location and create new directories to store your files. I will now jump into the SD card in the phone and see that it has created the new directories where the applications will store their files. So if you have a recorder or DJI as well, uh, these new locations will be located in your SD card. At the moment you can see that the Bebop 2 directory is empty and that is because I have no files in there and I have not transferred anything. So this is still on the SD card and I am going to do a test transfer of Bebop files and see where it goes, if it goes to the SD card or to the internal storage. Jumping straight back into Free Flight Pro into the drone's memory from the app Free Flight Pro and selecting two videos, two small videos, which I can do a test transfer and confirm that it is now being stored in the SD card. The files have now been transferred and we will go into gallery just to confirm that the app registers the transferred files in the gallery. Now we will see on the SD card that the files actually did get transferred to the SD card. Unfortunately, this does not work for iOS devices because they have fixed internal storage so I suggest if you have an iOS device just get uh, an iOS device with a larger storage capacity. Until next time, fly safe and God bless.